morning everyone welcome back uh, you have to excuse the sweaty mess that i am today it's 10 a.m and it's probably at least 22 degrees already so um i thought i'd get down to the plot early because there's a couple of bits i kind of want to do today uh one of which is water the beds that don't have anything in them i'm really worried that it's starting to dry out so much um, and then I'm also going to put some straw around the bottom of some of the plants, try and keep some of that moisture in. I did also see online, you can buy these terracotta pots. I can't think of what they're called, but they go in the ground. You fill them with water and they slowly disperse the water. I couldn't find any that could get delivered the next day and that weren't like 70 odd pound. So what I did do, I went into um, B&Q and I picked up the terracotta pots that they um, just sell just for your normal pot plants. And then I filled the bottom with the bathroom silicon that you put around your bathtub, to try and keep everything watertight. So I'm gonna just see if that will actually work for today and tomorrow um, and see if it helps a little bit. I mean, they're only, £2.50 or something so if they don't work it's not too bad and I can always just peel the silicone off and plant more of my house plants in there so it doesn't really matter too much um but uh, yeah I thought I'd bring you along and see how it works um I did actually also get a warning from the council um the guy that looks after this site um or runs the site um I, I feel really bad for him because he came up to me and he said um the council would like to see a little bit more in the plot already and in the ground um he did explain that i'd already only had it since march um but yeah so i've got to try and <laughs> somehow with this horrible heat get stuff in the ground but i'm hoping because it's meant to rain next week what i'll do is get everything in the ground give it really really good water over this weekend um, and then hopefully the rain next week will help it um hopefully it's still a little bit sunny um that will give it a little bit of heat and things um but yeah hopefully that will help so yeah let me bring you along um see how we get on with these so one of the places i want to get one of the pots in is in the pumpkin patch um because obviously they need a lot of water um, and the pumpkins are doing so well that i just don't want them to get ruined um and i've got a couple coming up on this middle one which is the white baby booze but i gave it good water yesterday and look at the flowers that have come up on it so it must have helped no idea whether they're feminine or masculine so i don't know um but yeah i'm gonna put one probably just in the middle just there um because i've got a plastic pot here which seems to have helped with this side so i don't know if to put one more over that side and the other one is going to go in with the courgettes probably in the middle because the sunflower is taking a real hit with the um sun at the moment so yeah we'll pop one probably in the middle between the courgette and the sunflower and then the other one here So, as you can see, I've literally just dug a hole, popped it in, and just left this room. I don't know if to go all the way up or not, but I have got a lid that I was going to put over the top and just try and keep some of that moisture in, but I don't know, I don't know if it works. I'm going to fill it up now, see if it will actually hold it, try to get as little soil in there as absolutely possible, and we'll see how it goes. It looks like it's holding the water well. At least it doesn't look like it's leaking. So I'll leave that for a little while, see how it goes. And 
we'll go from there, I think. So I've popped in the second one. And it's just between my sunflower and my courgette. Because my courgette was starting to wilt yesterday and I really don't want it to die because I thought it died once and it'd come back to life. So I'm hope, hoping this will hold it. But it seems to be holding the water well. And I'm so I'll kind of double check as I go where the water level was at and we'll go from there. So I'm just working on this bed at the moment because it was getting so dry and I thought if I just give it a good water and maybe try and plant some bits in here. It's absolutely full of red ants though. I don't know if you can see them. I did, however, just pull this. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty pleased with that. Someone said to me that you shouldn't water carrots all the time because um, then that makes them go deeper into the ground and that's when you get longer carrots. So I have tried that and it seems to be working. So I think I'm going to work with that process from now on with carrots. I'm going to leave the other two that are in there and um, just leave them still um, going away and see if they get any bigger. But yeah, pretty pleased with that actually. So unfortunately I might actually have to go in a minute because it's so hot. It must be at least... 26 27 degrees at the moment in time so and everything i've watered now um i've given it as much water as i possibly can but now every time i start to water it just evaporates so i'm probably going to head back i have left a bucket just there for the birds and for the animals so hopefully that will stay cool for them in this kind of shady bit underneath the damson tree so we'll see how that goes. But I'm really gutted. I really wanted to get more done today and get some bits in the ground, but it's it's just not going to work. And I I don't want to waste anything. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste seeds. So um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to pop some straw underneath the um, courgette um, and underneath the sunflower as well. To see if that keeps some of the moisture in. Um, and then I'll come back on Sunday. Um, and try and get a couple of bits in the ground before it rains next week but thank you so much for watching sorry this was a bit of a weird one um but hopefully once the rain comes next week things will start to look up and it'll get a little bit more exciting so yeah have a lovely weekend take care stay safe in the sun um yeah bye